good degree, good university, tertiary education, and you might never get a job. And, you know, actually going on to say, look, people should, rather than focus on getting jobs, focus. For me, I think that's one way to look at how problems should be solved, actually, in favor of the president. Uh, contrary to most of the reactions we're seeing online, and even I, I, my discussion with you, contrary to what you might even lend a voice to. But I, I would want to to the logic behind the comment, saying you could attend a very qualitative uh, degree, and ha uh, I mean university, and attain a very good degree and still not get a job. You know, so rather than focus on getting a job, focus on being skillful yourself. Sp focus on creating jobs yourself. I think that's where the president was coming from. Well, there are two contexts to the statements made by the president. The first one is, is it a statemental statement? The second one is, is it a factual statement? Now, statemental statements can come in form of, you know, the, you know, uh, the government, you know, making a lip service statement, you know, based on its own ideological or what was being written down, mm. you know, on the paper, if that was what he read it from. And the second one has to do with the factual statement there. What are the facts that can be, you know, um, uh, extracted from that statement, which has been made by the president? The first thing I'll say is that uh, such statements shouldn't have come from the president of Nigeria. Mm. Yes, because uh, it's only... Maybe in such a way. Yes, in such a way, because it's only making uh, the hopes of the youth or youth who have... Uh, no skill, no connection, or are entrepreneurial in nature. It's only dampening their hopes. Because there's, there should be provision for people who want to get jobs, who, people who want to rely on the government to create these jobs. Let's take it to the Western world. Before you are 18 years old, in most of the Western world, I'm talking about US and UK and all that there, the government of your country takes care of you. When you are 18 year old above, you start taking care of your, your responsibility. But that doesn't still mean that when you are done, there is no place for you to fit in in the country there. So in what context is, the, you know, is President Mahon Wari telling us, telling the youth of this, that not even in federal, in the state, or in the local government there? President Mahon Wari, this question goes back to you. Your children, where did they school? At present now, what are they being engaged with? The Senate president, his children, where are they at present? Femme Yadia Mila, the Speaker of the Representative, his children, where are they at present? I think you cannot feel the heat of an iron on someone if you don't put it on your own body. These people are there because they don't know what it takes for an average Nigerian to wake up in the morning and be able to eat just one square meal a day. This is where we find ourselves in Nigeria now that nobody cares for the messes again. So, 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 so if your take is it is discouraging, I mean, to have the president, you know, churn out such a statement to the youth, Specifically, he, he actually addressed the youth. He said, let him speak to the youth, you know, addressing the youth. And you, advocates like you and activists like you are saying, look, this is discouraging, especially for the youth. How then do we begin to encourage the youth? How then we, do we begin to chart a path towards success, towards a progressive youth? The first thing has to do with the area of ICT. In Nigeria of today, one of, uh, uh, one of the students that I've met from the school I went, which is a uh, FUTA, was just granted you know, job opportunity by, uh, I think, by Amazon. Yes, yes, I think by Amazon. Is it Amazon? Or, yes, I think it's Amazon there. The area which the strength of the youth in Nigeria is so diverse. We have youth in agriculture. We have youth in high city. We have youth in in, you know, in art, entertainment, and the likes like that. And that's why I want to appreciate 
uh, the leadership of this, you know, uh, of this, uh, uh, of this station, the person of Pastor Chris Oyakilome. This is one of the pastors that I've seen in Nigeria that encourages the youth in the area of entertainment. Pastor Chris has been able to, you know, renovate the mind of the youth from the area of social vices in the area of entertainment to gospel. And it doesn't just encourage them by mere words. It supports them. We have the likes of Eben and several other, you know, gospel artists. Secondly, the area of agriculture. If I'm going to tell you today, a drinker of beans now is 550, 500 naira. Why? Because those who are practicing agriculture in other part of Nigeria have dropped their holes and cutlasses due to insurgency, banditry, kidnapping, and headsmen, and all that there. Now, what is that telling to us as youth in Nigeria now? We can get ourselves engaged in the area of agriculture and be prolific in it there. In the area of science and technology, research, I was appealed when I saw the people that were being listed to represent Nigeria to discuss with, with Twitter, when you have young guys there, you are having the likes of Lai Mohammed, the likes of Fashola. Is Fashola going to talk about the legal part of it? Or what exactly is Lai you know, uh, Mohammed be discussing there? The same person that preaches about fake news and is the same person that is practicing fake news in Nigeria? Come on, why can't we have tech guys? go discuss and negotiate with these people there. And we'll be so shocked that even what those in Twitter mm. are yet to discover about how Twitter is bringing bad image, not to Nigeria alone, will be addressed by our youth and Nigerian, you know, young people. We are having the likes of old men that okay. are not only less than 50. Oh, okay, David, let's stick to the topic. Yes, uh, as much as I agree, the relevance also of what you cited is to our topic, but we are trying to chat a way forward beyond what President Muhammad Buhari said about no vacancy and how people have read it to mean. Like I've said, I think he's charging the youth to be more entrepreneurial in, 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 in nature rather than seek jobs. I can also agree with you that it shouldn't have come from the president in such a manner by saying no vacancy. You know, there could have been other diplomatic ways to state and encourage the youth to look inwards for how to create jobs and how to be useful themselves to the nations like the, um, um, the father of democracy, Abraham Lincoln, uh, once was quoted as saying that think not what the nation will do for you, but what you Can't do for will your do name. for your country. Uh, so there could have been several ways the president could have said that positively. But you see, we are focused at nation building, you know, as a nation. Uh, and that's why we have our present uh, Pastor Chris um, uh, focusing, redriving, retracing our focus on nation building, what we need to do to move this nation from its current predicament to where we have ever saged and envisioned it to be. And that's, you, you have said, look, the youth should look inwards in the area of technology, ICT. In an area of agriculture, when you have insurgency, headsmen, and all that banditry plaguing it, what can the youth do there moving forward? Well, uh, southwest, if you drive from Moway down to Ibadan, the highest you will see is vacant land. Mm. We are praying to God and with the prayer of Pastor Chris Oyakilome that. Uh, the nature at which the banditry, the kidnapping, the extent at which it has happened in the northeast won't get to the southwest and southeast. We're even there. praying for it to all come down. Or we even pray that it comes down. All it's, together, you know, all together. You know, it becomes a thing of the past there. Youth of Nigeria, I can say for free, which I'm part of them, we, anywhere we get to outside Nigeria, we are always leading. But it's unfortunate that the environment we have is not supporting us. So my candid advice for an average Nigerian youth is do not be bothered about what is going on in the country. If you believe that that intellectual capacity that you have can solve the problem 
that surrounds you. I believe that it will surround you. Myself, within my little locality, I've been able to, you know, bring together, that is, Olagege, youth, when it comes to the area of sensitization, that violence will not solve a problem, but rather it will exacerbate it. Now, the area of community servicing, mm. the area of, uh, you know, utility bills, NEPA bills, the Loma bill, and all that, and all that. They had, you know, their own you know, plan of going to disrupt and destroy, you know, one of the uh, installations. installations and all that. Day. And I called them and said, you know what, this will not help. Rather, let me speak to the officers in charge of the, you know, oh, PHCN, and I also speak to those, you know, in Loma, and I'll bring them together in the round table, and we discussed. So, back to what I'm saying is that the youth of Nigeria should not be discouraged. That's the first thing there. Let's get ourselves involved in the area of agriculture so as to solve the area of poverty chain that is growing rapidly in Nigeria there. The third one is that in the area of ICT, we still have enough to, you know, to explore in the area of ICT. In terms yes, of talents and skills? You know, talent and skills, yes. Uh, uh, in the area of the Bitcoin chain, and though we still believe that the ban will be raised mm. regarding the issue of you know, Bitcoin, you know, and what have you there. Now, also in the area of entertainment as well, there, uh, kudos to Pastor Christopher Yakilome for how he has encouraged, you know, uh, uh, you know, Nigerian youth in the area of, you know, supporting their talents, you know, and all that. I think at this point now, I want to address the issue of Big Brother Nigeria. Let's be sincere and pragmatic there. Well, I don't think we want to call out brands, and uh, because you've been reading quite a number of that, and I've tried to, to you know, oh, apologies, them, you, know, you know, calling the likes of Amazon and all of yeah. that. I, I thought it was something that was going to be have a global representation, but let's not call out brand. Let's leave it as it is. If we can look at things from a more generic point of view, a, a more global perspective, that would be nice. Okay, okay. Well, thank you so much for that. You know, uh, for that correction. So. What are we investing as a nation? What are we supporting as a nation? What is the total number of those that are being equipped when it comes to supporting a particular cause as a nation there? I think such should be readdressed. Our mental faculty, our thinking faculty, and our reasoning faculty should be addressed as youth. What do we give? you know, or priority to, priority to support to and projection to. What do we project? How does it affect and having Nigerian youth? And uh, 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 back to the area of football, soccer. Soccer alone in Nigeria can reduce a lot of social vices. And we have a lot of youth that are talented in the area of this, you know, you know of this football skills, of this sports there. Some other areas of sports, table tennis, lawn tennis, swimming, and all that, that we've not been able to even tap mm. one, you know, or uh, one tenth of it there. Mm. So we have. I can, I, can, I can also attest to the fact that the spiral effect it, it could have in terms of revenue generation, in terms of tourism, when we, you have tournaments, the tourists it attracts, in terms of even the players, and the, uh, you have these players who are picked up and you, you know, get empowered, in terms of. Um, um, uh, would I say hospitality, the business of hospitality and all of that, yes, we can tell how sports can also, and the skills we equally have. We've seen how great and young talents have come out of, raw talents have come out of Nigeria in the global space when it comes to sports and football. So I'd agree with you too on that.